Oh, what's going on, everybody? Troy Bacon with Fast Shoot back from our video. So, today I'm going to be showing a new series called Am I the Jerk? where I look at different Reddit stories and I kind of just say if they're the jerk or not and like describe my opinion on it. And I think I'm going to like the series and I think you are too. So, let's just jump right into it. So, the first story is Am I the Jerk for Telling My Mom to Get Lost? It's really weird. I, 17 year old female, with my dad full time, and I have for about two years now. My parents divorced when I was four, and I lived primarily with my mom for a year because she moved out without the court's permission. Then dad moved to stop the fight in court dragging out forever because they didn't return me immediately upon that. It soured things pretty bad between them. My dad was mad that she just upped and moved without saying anything, and my mom was mad that he brought into the court only to move away. Mom remarried when I was 11. Her husband had very th three very small kids. I think literally babies and toddlers. She jumped into being their mom and, for and I forced to accept that I wasn't going to have to, with my time, but spend time with my mom again. She always insisted on including them, yet I was very aware she spent time for step kids individually. Mom always said that they were so young that stuff was bound just to be her and some them sometimes. I got mad at her over it and then over time it got worse. I didn't just lose my mom but I was expected to babysit often enough. So stay the night with kids, while mom went to grab groceries, babysit every Saturday night. I was there for her and her husband's date night. Babysitter, babysit for whatever funeral, party, or wedding came up. I know it's all part of being a family, but I did not care, consider myself part of the family. And at that point, I wanted, to, I wanted time with my mom. Instead, I was getting more time for stepkids who were so small that it was to work around. And they also meant that they were bonding with me while I just didn't want to be around them. Dad was more willing to go to court and fight for me to stay with him. He won with a condition. I see my mom once every month, which I do to keep him out of trouble with the court. The last few months, mom's been tempted to increase that, but never just us, always with her family. I told her I will not join them stuff. I do not want time with her family. Come back to me when it's just us. So she called the other day and told me she wanted us to go to the water park together. They had a nice burger place nearby we could go to. I asked if it would be just us two, and she said yes. But then in the middle of the conversation, she starts dropping talk of the kids and pointed out she would said that they wouldn't be coming. She told me she told me she never said that i got mad she i told her she said she would never learn i wasn't interested in going and to get lost and better yet forget i even insist, existed because i'll be doing that with her she got so mad and said i was out of line so am i the jerk oh this is a tough one okay number one i feel like I feel like the mom is the biggest jerk in the story. She's not spending time with her daughter and she's kind of abusing her in a way. But number two, she invited you to the water park. Don't be like so ungrateful about that. Ah, oh, oh, this is tough. I'm gonna say that you're mid because one, she's just trying to be nice. But at the same time, she was also kind of abusing your powers, her daughter, and discluding you. Because I don't feel like that you should sit there and say, like, this means stuff to her, she is still your mother. However, you do have a right not to go, but you can't be so rude about it, if that makes sense. <sighs> Dang, this is a pretty tough story. Alright, let's just jump right into the second story. All right, the second story. Am I the jerk for when my husband to cancel a trip he's been planning for four, four years? My husband, 27, been planning a trip for about four years with some close friends. The trip kept being postponed and some of his friends have family deaths, financial issues, and unfortunate world events. My husband is finally going to be able to leave within two months. The issue I, 21, have with this is that I'm going to be pregnant and he's leaving near my due date. This is my first child, and I do not want to go through childbirth alone. I do not have family other than my husband. My dad's died, and my mom is mentally ill. I just want his support through the process. But it's making me feel really bad for asking him to postpone the trip just so he can be here for his daughter and I. 
told me that's honestly not that big of a deal. I mean, he said when he was at the hospital for his son from the previous relationship, that birth only took an hour and the nurse was very supportive. I don't want to care for his son after I came home from the hospital alone. He plans on being away for a month in that sole custody. His son goes to his mom's every other week, but that's all. Sometimes his mom won't even show up. He hasn't made any plans on where his son's going to go after I come home from the hospital. His sister agreed to take him while I'm in the hospital, but she can't do that any longer as she has a full-time job and doesn't want to take too much time off of work. He told me I'll be able to handle everything myself and beg to drop the issue because he's been playing this for so long and has really been excited to go. He offered to pay me for all the hardships and told me he wouldn't to take care of children after coming home from the hospital all the time. I do understand that this wasn't exactly planned. I feel awful about the whole situation. A huge part of me just wants to drop the dwarf issue and find a way to deal with everything by myself. I mean, his friends are calling me a blank. I don't want to be a blank and spoil everything fun. So am I the jerk? No. No. God, no, 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 no. I, I, no. Look, I get both sides of the story. The father's been playing this trip for about four years. But at the same time, she's going to be pregnant. You can't just like... They, your friends have been postponed, which I guess makes sense because they have family deaths. But like, come on. Also, the friends are jerks. Jeez. Wow. That is a tough story because like, no, she's not the jerk. You are not the jerk because you're sitting there and you're, you need support for that. Wow. That's making me mad that the husband's saying that. But if you like this video, make sure to let me know down below. But thank you so much for watching. I'm Bacon Man. And as always, keep supporting.